Businesses nowadays encounter a significant challenge with generative AI. They excel in general knowledge, but need help to ask about specific data. The core of the problem lies in the fact that tools like ChatGPT are trained on widely available information, which doesn't include a company's internal documents or industry-specific nuances. This gap can result in inaccurate outputs, known as AI hallucinations, compromising the reliability that businesses need for data-sensitive operations. Enter RAG pipelines, which combine retrieval and language generation modules to enhance natural language processing tasks. With RAGAS, you can assess the performance of RAG systems without relying on human annotations, making evaluation cycles faster and more efficient. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. RAGA stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation Assessment. It is a framework introduced for reference-free evaluation of Retrieval Augmented Generation RAG pipelines. RAGAs provide a way to evaluate the performance of RAG architectures across various dimensions, such as the effectiveness of the retrieval system in identifying relevant context passages, the ability of the language model to use this information faithfully, and the quality of the generated output. The RAG pipeline, which combines retrieval and language generation modules, plays a crucial role in enhancing natural language processing tasks. To evaluate the RAG pipeline, we need the four required data points from your RAG pipeline question. These are the questions your RAG pipeline will be evaluated on. Answer, generated answer corresponding to each question. Contexts, retrieved contexts, corresponding to each question. This is a list because each question can retrieve multiple text chunks. Ground truths, ground truths corresponding to each question. This is also a list since each question may have multiple ground truths. Ragas offer a set of metrics for assessing each component of a RAG pipeline, as well as evaluating the entire pipeline from start to finish. Here are some evaluation metrics commonly used in the context of RAG systems, faithfulness, this metric evaluates the extent to which the generated output is faithful to the retrieved context. Metrics such as factuality prediction and hallucination detection can be used to assess the faithfulness of the generated responses. Answer. Relevance. Determine whether the generated response addresses the given question effectively. Context. Relevance. Evaluate the relevance and focus of the retrieved context passages. Assessing the quality of the retrieved context helps ensure that the generated responses are grounded in relevant information. Context recall. Context recall measures the extent to which the retrieved context aligns with the annotated answer, treated as the ground truth. Context precision. A metric that evaluates whether all of the ground truth relevant items present in the context are ranked higher or not. These evaluation metrics help assess different aspects of RAG systems, including faithfulness, relevance, and overall performance. In order to start, first we need to install dependencies and set up our environment. Install all the necessary dependencies. After installing requirements, we import Langchain, PIPDF2, OpenAI, Streamlit, OS, and RAGAS for evaluating the RAG pipeline. Please specify the name of the app by using the page title input argument in the st.set page config method. This name will serve as the title of the app and will also appear as the title in the preview when sharing on social media. We set up a text input box for users to enter their OpenAI API key, a secret key granting access to OpenAI services. If a key is entered, it's stored as an environment variable named OpenAI API key enabling the program to make requests to OpenAI services securely. This input mechanism ensures users can safely provide their API key, crucial for utilizing OpenAI's functionality. We created a header titled, Ask Your PDF. Additionally, it sets up a sidebar where users can upload a PDF document and ask questions related to its content. 
Within the sidebar, there's a markdown section displaying information about my channel, which sets up a file uploader component where users can upload their PDF files. Check if a PDF file has been uploaded by the user. If so, it initializes a PDF reader to extract text from each page. It then concatenates the extracted text from all pages into a single string stored in the variable text. In essence, the code processes the uploaded PDF file, enabling the extraction of its textual content for further manipulation. Now we create a character text splitter instance, configuring it with a chunk size of 1000 and a chunk overlap value of 200. Our approach uses the length function to measure each chunk based on its character count. Then we convert the chunks into embeddings using OpenAI embeddings. We will then create a knowledge base using FAISS and save it in the vector store. Creates a simple user interface using Streamlit for asking questions about a PDF file. It checks if the user has inputted a question, and if so, it creates a retriever object using the vector store. Once the vector database has been populated, you have the option to designate it as the retriever component. In this case, we are going to use OpenAI's GPT 3.5 Turbo as it's the most cost efficient. But if you have access, feel free to use the more powerful GPT-4. We're going to use chat prompt templates to help guide your chatbot interaction with users to ensure that the chatbot is relevant, engaging, and helpful. Ultimately, you can construct a chain for the RAG pipeline by linking the retriever, the prompt template, and the LLM. Once the RAG chain is established, you can then invoke it. We initialize lists for questions and their corresponding ground truths, correct answers. The questions list contains two strings representing specific inquiries about software engineering and agile model phases. Ground truths is a list containing sublists, each holding the correct answer for a respective question. Answers and contexts are provided as placeholders for potential future data storage or processing in the program. We iterate through a list of questions, retrieving answers with rag chain and collecting relevant document content for each question. It appends the answers to the answers list and the content of relevant documents to the context list. Create a dictionary named data with four key value pairs, question, answer, contexts, and ground the truths in a structured format. Now let's bring rags into the picture. We use the evaluate function and simply pass in the relevant metrics and convert the evaluation results into a pandas data frame. Let's run a code and check the result. As you can see the result of context precision, context recall, faithfulness, answer a relevancy. Let's wrap it up. Raga's framework underscores the importance of automated evaluation in assessing the performance of RAG systems across various dimensions. By leveraging the Wikival dataset and innovative evaluation strategies, Ragas provides developers with a valuable tool for evaluating and optimizing the quality of RAG pipelines in natural language processing tasks. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.